Hello everyone, Bloombot Adventure, opening ceremony of Washington Chess Tournament during Thanksgiving holiday in 2021. It was excellent. Jill Marisa came over and performed chess ballet for five minutes. The entire performance was inspired by Queen's Gambit. Unlike other games in which looker is the end and aim, chess recommends itself to the wise by the fact that its mimic battles are fought for no price but honor. It is eminently and emphatically the philosopher's game. The beauty of chess is it can be whatever you want it to be. It transcends language, age, race, religion, politics, gender, and socioeconomic background. Whatever your circumstances, anyone can enjoy a good fight to the death over the chessboard. Chess is a struggle against the era. Every chess master was once a beginner. Avoid the crowd, do your own thinking independently. Be the chess player, not the chess piece. Chess makes men wiser and clear-sighted. Chess is a gymnasium of the mind. Chess holds its master in its own bonds, shackling the mind and brain so that the inner freedom of the very strongest must suffer. Chess is a war over the board. The object is to crush the opponent's mind. The way one plays chess always reflects the player's personality. If something defines his character, then it'll also define his way of playing. The game of chess is not merely an idle amusement. Several very valuable qualities of the mind, useful in the course of human life, are to be acquired or strengthened by it. Life is chess, in which we have often points to gain and competitors or adversaries to contend with. As proved by evidence, chess is more lasting in its being and presence than all books and achievements. The only game that belongs to all people and all ages, of which none knows the divinity that bestowed it on the world, to slay boredom, to sharpen the senses, to exhilarate the spirit. Chess doesn't drive people mad. It keeps mad people sane. In life, as in chess, one's own pawns block one's way. A man's very wealthy, ease, leisure, children, books, we should help him to win, more often checkmate him. Chess is life in miniature. Chess is a struggle, chess battles. Chess, like love, like music, has the power to make people happy. In the idea of chess and the development of chess mind, we have a picture of the intellectual struggle of mankind. Don't believe in psychology. Believe in good moves. Play the opening like a book, the middle game like a magician, and the end game like a machine. Gary Kasparov once said, I used to attack because it was the only thing I knew. Now I attack because I know it works best. Take our opponent and ourselves to unknown grounds. A game of chess is not an examination of knowledge. It is a battle of nerves. Chess is rarely a game of ideal moves. Almost always, a player faces a series of difficult consequences, whichever move he makes. When you see a good move, look for a better one. After a bad opening, there's hope for the middle game. After a bad middle game, there's hope for the end game. But once you are in the end game, the moment of truth has arrived. Even a poor plan is better than no plan at all. Tactics is knowing what to do when there's something to do. Strategy is knowing what to do when there's nothing to do. Life, as in chess, forefought wins. You may learn much more from a game you lose than from a game you win. You have to lose hundreds of games before becoming a good player. The players are getting ready after the performance. Will the pairings come out soon? No. Okay, we'll wait. This is a master sewing machine. Sewing logo for Washington Chess Federation and 
A customer can choose different color of the threads and uh, pick a chess piece and embroider their, their name on the jersey. It's pretty cool, high technology. Nobody ever wins a chess game by resigning. Good luck all the chess players, play your best and have a fun three days of the tournament.